It's day 23 of our meetings. My spiritual son from from US have come down. What is happening? Dad, you look younger now. I look younger. How are you? I'm good, Dad. We are at the food court at Laval. I'm gonna pick up some food with my man of God and the woman of God. Um, exciting days, but sad that the services are getting over in two days. Wow, it has been such a great journey. <laughs> Mr. Social Media. Hello. Yes. We want to feed our stomach, but we're coming down, we're going to deal with it again. Amen. Sure. Yeah. All right? Papa, when you eat your earthly meal, you go to the best store to eat the divine meal with the Indian store. <laughs> My son and I have to eat at the Indian store. It's celebration, Indian food time. He, he was at the Thai store and he's like, you know what, I seriously want to do the Indian food. Um, no, I'll do the same thing actually. Father, we thank you for all the people in the highways and the byways and those that are in prison that have no food to eat. Father, we thank you that the people are hungry and they have nothing to eat and because they are very selfish, the people are... <laughs> God is still listening. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 okay. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. <laughs> He's thinking I'm really deep. I know. <laughs> I was you. receiving. I was receiving. <laughs> yeah, that was a setup. We just wanted to get I'm you. Much. I wanted to get you on the video. Uh, <laughs> the food is blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We're done. <laughs> Okay, he was very intense. He closed his eyes, open it. That is, that is going on the vlog, so. Oh no. Now, the key is don't pray religious prayers. Yes. It is sanctified by the word. Amen. And it's done in Jesus' name. Amen. Come from those that speak to me. Just walk with them. Walk with them. God bless you. God bless you. Come forward. Come forward. For all is changed when Jesus is the same. This is what is happening. What? I don't know if you can see outside. That's sun coming up. Look at the time. That's 4.40 in the morning. And this little one is awake. And here is William. That's, that's Apostle Charles' uh, grandson. And uh, I'll show you what's happening inside the conference room. How do you know when to pull on people's arms? <laughs> How do you know when to pull on people's arms? When I just want to have a fun time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's your choice. It's my choice. So when you slap. You just choose. Yeah. So when do I slap? Just pick something. I remember. I, can I just go ahead? Just quick story. Remember in Australia, somebody had really bad back pain, and he stood up. You said somebody here has really bad back pain. And the the man stood up, and you asked him. You said, "How would you like to be healed?" And you gave him the choice. Some people, their main concern 
is what others think. I'm not interested in that. When I come, I want to help the people. Have you ever noticed the non Christian kids that they do? They don't know all the scriptures. That's, that's what is happening. Tomorrow is the last of this series of meetings. And I'll just take you into the conference, into the sanctuary to show you what's happening. Hi, guys. I didn't know you guys were here. No, no, it's okay. What are you guys doing? You know, that's, that's how a revival looks like this. It's close to five in the morning, and um, people here as if it's just six in the evening. And the passion for Jesus is like, like crazy. It's people, this has become part of the lifestyle. I want to, sh I want to show you. Look at this. These are the ones that was left behind. Some took it back to the hospitals. Um, one of the best, one of the best, um, one of the best moments where when I, when I, when somebody went into the parking lot, and they saw a wheelchair that was left behind. If you're asking why we're coming, to <laughs> if you're asking why we're closing this meeting, is is the capacity to handle this. Um, people are exhausted. Even though you see all of those people up there at, at, at about 4.30 4 in the morning, all those people up there, people have literally paid a price night and day to come and, and be part of this, this move of God. One of my believers, he, he, he's missed his school for more than four weeks now. And, and some people have missed their workplace some people have gone to full time, so it's really, it's really been a time where people have really given. And I find that uh, it was not something that people expected. Uh, many people prayed for revival, but they didn't know how it looked like. Hi guys, Hi. <laughs> look at that. Little kids running around <laughs> at five in the morning. Look at this one, you know. So the lack of expectation caused the lack of preparation, and you know that was. That was one of the biggest things, and that costs um, the fact that as a pastor, I need to take care of my people. And I saw that some of my leaders were very drained, but they were working nonstop. Yet, they came in night after night. This was also God's way of just exposing us to um, something, preparing us for something greater. Uh, we just go out and, and just see. Um, <laughs> Hello. Hello. What are you guys doing at this late, man? We're getting the annoying way for food. <laughs> <laughs> Hungry. <laughs> this is the media team working hard. No, it's not. Are you working hard or you're hardly working? Oh, uh, we're totally working hard. have no sleep <laughs> all right have a good night take care good day see you okay, that's how crazy things are it's beautiful I tell you what an experience look at that people just leaving now See the motorized uh, scooter there. I want to take this time to thank um, uh, the Resurrection Center, um, the Good News Chapel, um, and the Bethel House, and all the churches that send their volunteers, send their worship team uh, to be part of it. So this became a very church affair. We've had more than 30, 40 pastors that have been come, they've been uh, visiting and receiving from these of God. We heard at least three churches that had these miracles overflow into their churches and, and miracles just exploded in their churches. And so it was very, very encouraging to see this move of God uh, take over the way it did. And um, 
forever grateful to God for exposing us to this. And I think that we'll be more prepared next time um, with extra meetings, uh, extra teams. Um, uh, one of the things that I learned from it is the fact that as the move of God increases, the faster we must recruit and delegate. Um, I think we failed with that this time, but uh, it was a great experience. I'm glad that I'm able to journal this part of my life through these videos and um, grateful to God. Thank you, Luke, for editing and capturing some of these clips. And, um, thank you for all my precious believers that stood alongside and, and cried and prayed. And if you haven't already, don't forget to hit subscribe. Leave your comments below. I would love to hear your thoughts.